Hi. Now, for this question, I've copied the sketch that we're given of the graph of y equals x to the power 3 upon 2 minus 1. We're told that the curve crosses the x-axis here at 1, 0, and we're looking for the area contained between the curve and the tangent to the curve at the point 4, 7. I've shaded it here in green. Now, the question says hence, so it relies on the previous part of the question. And in the previous part of the question, we found the integral of x to the power 3 upon 2 minus 1 between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 4. In other words, what that gave us okay, was this area, if I can just shade it, okay, underneath the curve, the red curve here, to this blue line here where x equals 4. Let's just mark that in as x equals 4. So, in fact, we've got all of this area bounded here. And if, and if I just label this, let's just call this part here A, might help make the problem a lot easier to work with. A, B there, and we'll call this point where the tangent crosses the x-axis, D, and I'll label this point here C. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is work out the area of this triangle, BDC. Okay, let's just shade that. And I can then take away that area from the area under the curve between the limits 1 and 4. And we found out from the previous part that that was 9 and 2 fifths. Okay, so... In order to work out the area of this triangle, BDC, I'm going to need to work out where the tangent crosses the x-axis so that I can get the coordinate, the x-coordinate of D. So that's the first thing we need to do to work out the equation of the tangent. And to do that, I'm going to need to get the gradient. Okay, so getting the gradient we differentiate the curve so if we just start then with dy by dx differentiating x to the power 3 over 2 is just going to give us 3 over 2 times x and then you reduce the power by 1 and that's going to be to the power half differentiating the constant minus 1 just goes to 0 so to get that gradient then at the point B, we just need to say that therefore when x equals 4, substitute this into here. We've got therefore the gradient given by dy by dx is going to be equal to 3 over 2 times 4 to the power a half. 4 to the power a half, square root of 4 is 2, 3 over 2 times 2 just gives us 3. So a positive gradient of 3. Okay, as we can see, it's got to be positive. So knowing that we've got everything we need for the equation of straight line, I'm going to use the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So uh, therefore, what we've got here, just put a subtitle here, therefore the equation of the tangent Okay, we'll say at 4, 7. Okay, the 4 will be my x1, 7 will be my y1, point on the line. Okay, so what the equation is going to be is y minus y1, so it's going to be y minus the 7, equals m, the gradient, which we know is 3, times x minus x1, x1 being the 4. And we know that at d the y-coordinate will be 0. So if I say, therefore, at d, we know that y will equal 0. And if I substitute this in here, what I'm going to get is minus 7. So we have, therefore, minus 7 equals, and if I expand the bracket, we're going to get 3x minus 3 times the minus 4, which is going to give us minus 12. OK, minus 7 equals 3x minus 12. And if I rearrange this, add 12 to both sides, I'm going to get 5, 12 minus 7, 5 equals 3x, or 3x equals 5. And if I divide through by 3, both sides by 3, we end up with x equaling 5 thirds. So I've got my x-coordinate for 
D. And that now enables me to go on and find this length DC, ready for working out the area of the triangle. So let's just border that off there. So following on then, I can say that therefore the length DC is going to equal 4 minus the x coordinate here, 5 thirds. 4 minus 5 thirds. And what do we get for that? That's 7 thirds, OK? That's 12 thirds for 4. Take away 5 thirds. That's going to be 7 thirds. OK, so I've got the length DC. So now I can find the area of the triangle, B, C, D. OK, so just put an intro there. Area of triangle B, C, D. It's going to be half the base times the height. So we've got half the base length, which we've just found out. DC is 7 thirds. So 7 thirds times the height which is going to be BC here, it's going to be clearly 7. So what do we get for this? 7 7s are 49 over 3 times 2, which is 6. 49 over 6. So it equals 49 over 6. And that will be square units, OK? Square units because it's an area. OK, well, we've got that area now of the triangle BCD. So to get the green shaded area, Remember the question said hence, so we've got to take the area under the curve between x equals 1 and 4, which we found was 9 and 2 fifths. We've got to take this area away from 9 and 2 fifths. So we're nearly there then. Therefore, the area required, let's just put it here, the area required is going to be equal to 9 and 2 fifths minus the area of the triangle, which we just found out was 49 sixths. Work that out, and what you got is 37 thirtieths. And I'm just going to put square units there because we are working out an area. Okay, 